Now I'd like to show you the next trim mode, and this is the trim mode slide. This is a totally new function for us. I'll select it. If we activate it, we can see that our display in the timeline has changed somewhat. Until now, we had either the in point of a clip highlighted or the out point. But now, in this slide mode, it appears that both the out point of the left clip is marked as well as the in point of the second clip. If I now click here in the timeline with the mouse to use it for trimming our clips, we can see what is happening straight away. At the edit point that is specified by the mouse, both clips are moved simultaneously. And they are both being trimmed together, which allows me to choose the perfect crossover point between the two clips. This of course only allows you to move the cursor as far as your shortest clip can be extended. For example, if our left clip was short, then we could only extend it up until a certain point. In my case, both clips are long enough, which allows me to choose our edit point freely throughout the clips. I'll try and select our original edit point. It must have been about here somewhere. This slide trim method is especially useful when trying to align your edit point to another event. In my case, the edit point is fine, but if, for example, I had a soundtrack playing on an audio track, I could easily synchronize the edit point to a musical event, and if I was to display the waveform, then it is a simple task to set the edit point to an event from, say, an audio track.